All right, guys, welcome back to Booster But Broken. Um, today we're back in the workshop for another video. Uh, today we've got quite a cool one because forever I've had mismatched seats in my car. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but I managed to pick up this pair of OMP fixed back bucket seats for a steal off of Facebook Marketplace. They weren't that far down the road, they're like an hour drive. So I ran down, picked them up. Um, this one I've given a bit of a clean up, this one still needs to be hoovered and stuff, but it's just like dust from sitting. Um, so we're going to install these seats in this video. The main problem, uh, this one here, the driver's seat, did come with a rail, but it's so sketchy that I'm, I've literally thrown it on the floor down there and I'm, I'm not using that. It's like welded really dodgily, really flimsy metal. And it's, I can see that it's already bent, so I'm just not gonna use that. So essentially what we've gotta do is make my rails from my current seats fit these seats. Um, that doesn't sound too difficult, and it's not, but there's a little bit of fabrication involved because basically um, I've put my rail on the bottom here. The bolt holes that actually bolt into the seat don't line up um, with the ones that are already in this rail that fit the old seat which is perfectly normal because that was a completely different brand seat. That was a Cobra, this is an OMP. Manufacturers have their quirks. So what I'll do is I'll flip this seat over on its back and I'll show you what I've done so far, which is just put one bolt in um, and then sort of explain what we're gonna do. So um, I'll flip that now and bring you in a bit closer so you can see better. All right guys, so this is looking at the bottom of the driver's seat. You can see that I've, I've actually put my rail on but at the moment it's only held on by this one bolt in the corner here. I think I'm gonna use that, that bolt hole as my sort of central point to then extend uh, this rail off to the other points. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one there, and obviously the one in the corner. Basically the holes that the old seat bolted into on this particular seat aren't the same, like the spacing between each one is different. So that's fine. So this. This one we've actually got to extend. So this is where the original seat bolted on. The bolt just went through there, boom, straight in, no worries. Um, that's not gonna work on this one, because uh, like I said, the bolt spacing is different. So basically all we have to do is cut a little metal tab that bridges across here, from this over to here with a hole drilled in for this. Um, and then any 10 millimeter bolt will fit in there as long as it's not too long. So at that point, we then have the top two done. Um, and then from there, it's literally as simple as do exactly the same as we did for the top one on these bottom two and then repeat for the other seat. I've uh, just had a little measure up with my vernier um, and I've decided that this little square here in the corner is what I'm going to cut off uh, to bridge the gap between this point here and this point here. Um, I went the same thickness as this piece like this way and then this way ended up being like 53 and a half millimeters or something to just give me enough overhang that the bolt will be there and it'll have plenty of material all the way around. Um, and then the plan is, I don't know if you can see, but here on the end, I'll just stub it up to the end, uh, weld it across, um, grind it off, make sure it's a good weld. And then it should be sticking across this gap here and um, overhanging a bit. So then I can just drill the hole through there, smack the bolt in, and that will be that one done. And we can move on to the bottom two.
So as you just saw, I got the driver's seat in um, and it's actually been about a month at this point since I started doing this. Um, and you might also notice that the passenger seat is in. I ended up fixing down the passenger seat just with no slider, just fixed to the floor. Uh, found a central spot like in the car where it was like not too far back, not too far forward. Um, and I think I got it pretty spot on. This is sort of my seating position. And my goal from the start was I want, when I'm driving, I want the seats to be pretty level so it looks nice. Um, just a weird little touch. Um, and I think I nailed that. So the seats are in, all that's left to do now is to get a proper set of harnesses. I have this Sparco harness on my driver's seat, but it's super old. I did have two, the other one was torn, which is why the passenger seat doesn't have a harness right now. Um, so a stock seat belt, which is kind of weird, but it works. So the plan going from here is to get set harnesses for these. Um, and then we have a few more interior mods coming up. We've got some speakers going in. We've got a uh, secret thing going on behind me. Uh, new steering wheel, shift boot, aesthetics, you know. Now the engine's good, you know, I just want to kind of make the car better everywhere else. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment. I read every single one. Um, and there'll be a playlist here or here. There'll be a sub button here or here. By now you'd think I'd know which side was which. I don't. So click those, have fun, watch some more videos. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Booster But Broken. Yeah, my horn's broken. It wasn't broken and then it just broke, so maybe I'll fix that one day. <laughs>